Scenic has really made a difference in my life specifically because I uh, was awarded the Innovations in Business for the work that I've done at the Tribal Digital Village Network uh, with the Southern California Tribal Chairman's Association. You know, I have a team of people there that are out in the field, only four people out in the field building this network. What Scenic's really brought to, to the organization is the opportunity for resources, the opportunity for um, connectivity. I mean, we have finally gotten fiber at our head end and our tail end of our network. So we have redundancy, but now it's a, a question of like, okay, can we get resources? Can we get um, connectivity to the things that matter, like the higher education, some of the, the resources that kids can use in after school programs and all of the educational pieces there. So we're working currently actively with carriers trying to figure out the marriage of the Tribal Digital Village Network and Scenic so that we can take advantage of that. We're not quite there yet. We're still playing with the options. I also wanted to, uh, to recognize a few other people. There are a few that uh, are, have become incredibly relevant for my current uh, efforts. One of them uh, is Matthew Rencanon, who's uh, over here waving his hand, part of the uh, San Diego Tribal Digital Network, uh, and Steve Hooter, who's sitting next to him, uh, and David Lassner, who's over here from the University of Hawaii. These guys are very focused on trying to extend uh, internet access to places where it isn't, and I want to acknowledge how much help they've been uh, in that process. Today, uh, I think we heard Vint Cerf maybe mention my name twice in his opening speech, which was kind of cool. Um, but, you know, it's those kind of relationships that I've, I've made through Scenic and uh, some of the friends of Scenic that have allowed me to um, kind of grow the concepts and the vision of connectivity for Indian country in general, not just specifically Southern California tribal chairmans. But I work on a national level and global for the indigenous population. I'm an advocate for, for broadband for everyone, sub one dollar, I'm all about the wholesale style stuff. So if you don't come, you don't have this opportunity. I mean, this is really key. And we see that in an example today. Uh, the Navajo Nation is here in, you know, pretty good force. They have um, Teresa, who I work with um, at the national level a lot, and then they have several IT staff and some people from emergency services. And I think what they're realizing is um, this isn't a tribal conference, but the opportunity is there uh, to grow outside of the, not necessarily operating with your blinders on, on reservation, but not just focusing inward so much, focusing maybe a little bit lateral to see if there's opportunity to align with things that will help you solve your problems that you're having a tough time conquering on your own. Get you to an, a level of elevation where your thought process isn't just surrounded by your borders. It's actually looking at, you know, seeing it coming from California over to Navajo potentially. It's looking at, you know, all of the other providers that are in the room and the different, you know, avenues that may be of interest or like on the panel that I was on where they were talking about fire emergency services, just putting cameras on your towers just so you can watch fire and watch fire patterns and things like that for emergency and planning. A lot of stuff gets opened up when you come to these things. Working with the Tribal Digital Village Network, the Southern California Tribal Chairman's Association and the amazing Matt Rantanen has been an honor and a joy. Our new connection between TDVNet and Scenic started passing traffic on November 25th, 2019. This project is built upon nearly two decades of inspired work by TDVNet to connect 20 tribes in Southern California to each other and to the internet, led by Matt Rantanen, who directs technology initiatives for the Southern Tribal Chairman's Association. What the partners did here was to share strategic resources and expertise. TDVNet had developed an exemplary fixed wireless network. Google's Project Eagle Feather provided resources to further expand and enhance intra-tribal connectivity. AT&T provided the scalable 10 gigabit per second circuit between the TDVNet head end and a scenic point of presence near San Diego, a circuit that was provisioned through Scenic's existing partnership with AT&T. Scenic provided backhaul to two key Pacific Wave exchange points, one in Sunnyvale and one in Los Angeles. These exchange points now provide both domestic and international peering to TDVNet, along with access to the commodity internet. 
It was and remains a truly remarkable and effective partnership, one that I believe can be replicated and adjusted to fit local circumstances throughout California and ultimately throughout the Western states. You know, these relationships that I've made, Steve, Vint, Lewis, and, and a handful of others have really aligned us as a project and a thought process to be able to kind of maybe move the dial on how they proceed in the future. <laughs>